Hey guys, I'm back here again. Uh, today, I'm going to try to make two videos here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But to, this first video, I'm making a stuffed uh, striped bass, or some people will say rockfish. Um, this is the first time I've done this. Um, can't be too hard, so let's get started here. Uh, come on over here to the production center. Um, Jessica and I picked some crabs that we had left over, so I'm going to put, I don't know, probably that much, I don't need, something like that, okay, then I've got some Old Bay put in, okay, I've got some uh, Wishire soles. Just a couple dabs of that. There we go. And, um, uh, mmm, tastes good. Uh, we'll put some Italian breadcrumb in. Uh, let's see here some mustard. Some mayonnaise. And two table heaping tablespoons of that, and I'm gonna give it a mix. I think that's about all I want to put in it. Let's see where I'm at. So that's pretty good. taste it. Pretty good. Forgot one thing. I need to put an egg in. And now I'm better off. Alright, let me mix that up and see you staring at me the whole time. Alright, after I did the egg, I added a little more of the um, crab meat, a little more breadcrumb, and some more Old Bay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the fri fridge for a little while. We've got to run out to the store and get some stuff. Besides, that'll help all these flavors kind of marry together. So we'll see you back here in a little bit. Alright guys, I got that uh, fish out, but I want to show you what they look like um, whole. I don't know how big this guy is. He's got to be 14. Oh, good 21, 22 inches. 23 tops. But that's what they look like whole. This is frozen. I'm going to save this bad boy for a special occasion when I have more people coming around. Alright, let me throw it back in the freezer and get hey, more stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, these are deep filled. They're still cold, which is fine. Um, 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 let's, I think I'm going to make, um, some, like, potato cakes. I'm either going to deep fry them or I'm just going to fry them in a shallow pan. I think I'm going to do a shallow pan because tonight's dinner, um, this next video I'm making is, uh, I've got to fry some stuff too. So, I think we'll just kind of use this shallow pan so I can dirty it and then uh, make some more boudin balls. I fried a bunch yesterday. I hope you guys saw that video. The last section in there I was a little freaking drunk. But the rest of the video was really good. I hope you liked it. Either way, so I'm going to make more boudin balls. I ate a lot for breakfast. Jessica did too. Um, so let's get started on the potato cakes. Alright, I've got these red potatoes. And these are actually red potatoes where the inside of them are red as well. Uh, really, it's it's kind of almost pink right now. But um, if you'd have cut them raw, uh, you could definitely see the red. Either way, um, what we got to do is put some flour in here. 
to bond this up, get an egg cracked. Uh, this has already got garlic and salt. Jessica made these, but I'm going to put in some pepper. Okay. And get this all mixed in. So let me do that and we'll be back. Alright guys, so I threw one in as a test to see if my oil is hot enough and it seems okay. Well, we'll just do another dollop here. And another one here. And let them get crispy on both sides. Alright guys, I think it's enough light in here for you. I put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. Just for general principles. Let's take out one of these fillets and lay in here and um, I've got my crab meat of course yeah, you can see me pretty well so uh, let's put our crab meat in Something like that. And then we'll try to roll it up. I don't know. I've never done this. Huh. Seem to be okay. Alright. Moving on to the next one. the exact same thing. Okay. Let's put some on top for just for the heck of it. See how that goes. Either it's going to brown it but what I'll probably do is I'll cover this up with foil. There we go. That looks freaking freaking awesome. Now let me try it. Here, Jesse, can you turn off the camera for me? Actually, zoom in for me. We got to take a picture, you guys. This thing looks awesome. Uh-huh. Yum. So we'll be back here in just a little bit. Alright guys, so I've got it nice and covered up. We're going to put it in a preheated oven at uh, 350 degrees, and I'm going to probably do this for about 10 minutes. So we'll see you then. All right, just brought them out. I think I'm gonna put them under the broil for just like maybe one minute. But uh, that's about it. They smell great. There you go, Larry. Eat your heart out, brother. <laughs>